Today, I've got an amazing tool for the console edition for us that I want to share. So first off, credit to D11 because this is something that's on the Rust console official server. I didn't know it existed. I'm guessing a lot of you don't know it existed. But what it is, is it is a server binder. So you can find a server with all sorts of monuments or your favorite monuments on it. And you don't have to jump in and out of each server. You just go to this handy Discord tool, put in what you're looking for, and it will shoot out the server that you want to join. So first off, let's go over how this all works. So first things first, go to the Rust Console Edition Discord. There's a link down below in the description to a Discord, but that is not the Rust Console Edition Discord. That's my Discord. So if you jump in there, I can give you a link to the Console Edition Discord. Otherwise, you can probably find it using Google. So now once you're here, all you've got to do is go down to the server section, go to server search, and you're going to find this server finder tool. So you can type in R exclamation point server and type in a server name and you will find all the details on that server. So let's go ahead and do that. So we type that in and you get all the information on this server. It tells you the size of it. It's 3K, the region, USA, California. It's cross play. It has a max population of 100 and it has all these monuments. Pretty awesome, right? But it gets better. Next up, if you want to find a certain seed, you can type R exclamation point seed and then you just type in the seed that you're looking for. If you want to actually find a server with a bunch of monuments that you're looking for, here is how you're going to do it. So first off, one little caveat, oil rigs and fishing villages are random and do not depend on the seed. So this is something that's done outside of the seed. I don't know if this is how it works on the PC edition of Rust, but this is how it works on the console edition of Rust. And in addition to that, only one seed does not contain launch. And that seed is 1849. F's in the chat for anyone who decided to mainline that server because that has to suck. Or may maybe you're okay. You've got that extra space and you're loving it. I don't know. More space for activities, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and let's find the monument that we're looking for. So first off, you got your tier zero monuments. This would be Oxum's gas station, the supermarket, or the mining outpost. If you want one of these, you can select them. If you don't really care, keep on going. I'm gonna put down the gas station because why not? Who doesn't like a little bit of gas in the morning? Next up, we've got, and there's a really good Biden joke in there, I'm sure, but we're gonna keep going. Anyways, next up, we've got, and please pick three or four tier one monuments. So you've got sewer, we've got airfield, we've got water treatment, we've got satellite, dome, and train yard. So personally, I really like water treatment. I find some really cool fights around that. Same with train yard. I love airfield and sewer does beat out dome for me. So I'm going to put that down there. But dome is always good. Good dome is hard to find. Anyways, let's go ahead and type our find and see what comes up. So here we go. We've got a list of maps that we can jump into that have all of those monuments. So you can click into that map. It's going to redirect you to an image. And that image is going to show you the map that you will spawn in and find. So if you want to avoid all those pesky loading times and everything like that to find the perfect server, this is a tool for you. I think everybody should know about this. Everybody should be using it. But yeah, hopefully this gets a word out and hopefully some of you find some use out of this. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.